Welcome to Jokes of the Week with Alia Joffrey. What's a cow's favorite holiday? New Year's Eve. <laughs> what do you call two birds in love? Tweet hearts. <laughs> what did the paper say to the pencil? Write on. <laughs> Why was the broom late? It overswept. <laughs> That's all I have for you today, and I hope you have a great day and a great week. See you next time. Hey guys, welcome back to the poetry segment. In today's video, I'm gonna be listing my top five favorite poets. So at number five, I put the Arabic poet Ahmed Shoki. The reason I put him was because um, growing up, they always taught us about him in school, in Arabic class. And at first I didn't really like his poetry because well, it's class, you know, you don't really like it, but the truth was his poetry is amazing. And um, he, many of his poet, uh, like poems are translated in English. So if you want to read it and also other languages, like I think French and Italian and Spanish as well. So yeah, you can find it in many different languages. Um, and number three, I mean, number four, sorry. I put Warsan Shairi. She's a Kenyan-born uh, Somali poet. And that's why I put her, it's like representation kind of, to see someone like from where you're from. She's an amazing poet. And she was also quoted in Beyonce's Lemonade album. One of my favorite albums of all time. Um, and number four, Three, I put Maya Angelou. She has amazing poetry. She's very, very, very famous. Um, she died a few years ago, I think 2014. Um, I think everyone should check out her poetry. She's, um, she's an African-American poet. And I think one of her po poems are called like, we will rise or something like that and it's very famous and number two i put shell silverstein um the reason i put him is because we actually grew up on this book as me and my siblings um his book where the sidewalk ends it's filled with amazing poet poems i remember i loved the um his poem about the king who ate peanut butter and the reason I loved it so much was because I loved peanut butter. I still do love peanut butter. So maybe I'll read you guys a poem from this book one day. And at number one, I put Amanda Gordon. If you know me, you you probably knew I was gonna put her. Um, as soon as I heard her poem in the inauguration, she automatically became my favorite poem poet at all, of all times and I recommend her poet her poetry to everyone it really fills me with hope and yeah sorry for the noise I'm outside today to get some fresh air and I hope you guys enjoyed today's segment um I can't wait to see you guys next week bye